Nobody seems to have changed for a hundred. Thank you, sir. the scene of the Jose Rizal murder. But at least it did lead to a greater good in the emancipation of the Philippines. execution. Godly man, I see. Just tied up and executed. It's a Greek name originally. Uh, yeah. But you came and then you went to New York. You have a job in New York? You I had, yeah, but I left. So I, I couldn't. Have job already? Not yet. So you're, you're I'm looking for a job now. Really? Why oh, Philippines? And may I ask? If you don't my, mind. my wife is a Filipina. She works for the Department of Foreign Affairs. Ah, I so see. So she stole me. She kidnapped me. Ah, okay. So first, uh, we have our first cluster. Okay. Uh, the first cluster, uh, we have first, I'll just introduce you the characters. Okay. Each cluster has different stories. Right. Uh, this is the last day before our national hero will be executed right. under the Spanish era. Right. Because for, under, for uh, 400, uh, 333 right. years, we've been know, yeah. uh, dominated Spanish by the Spaniards. And mm -hmm. So here is Dr. Jose Rizal first. Right. He's our national hero. At the back is a military. A uh, military lawyer, mm -hmm. Lieutenant De Andrade. Here is a Sp uh, Spanish uh, judge, a fake military judge, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Lieutenant General Arohana. Mm -hmm. So, so here, as you can see, 
he's been given a mock trial, a fake mock trial because yeah, I know how that goes. You, you, uh, before I, uh, before I start, are you fami already familiar with the? A little bit. I mean, I'm I'm familiar with uh, why he with why Spain wanted to execute uh, him because of the writings that he uh, yeah, wrote. The, yeah, yeah, I have so some I'm idea about that. And then uh, here uh, he was he was given a fake trial, which is. Uh, he is being part of a revolution of the against the Spaniard, right? Which is oh, not yeah. true at which all. Which is not exactly. Right. So at the same time, uh, the lieutenant general or the lieutenant lawyer, which is uh, his protector, mm -hmm. even though he is one of the best military back then in mm -hmm. his era, in their era, he wasn't able to protect Doctor Jose Rizal because he was still under by the Spaniards uh -huh. government. Right. So here. At the same time, this this fake judge accused him of uh, file a case against him. Uh, the what do you call this? The fake uh, the fake trial or the being uh, head of the revolution. Head of the revolution. So okay. after that, uh, the the protector, military protector, said uh, give give Jose Rizal a chance to speak to mm -hmm. speak out. And he said he was not uh, he was not the head or the leader of the rebellion. Mm -hmm. But even though even though he he, he 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 defended himself, he was already he will be already executed by giving uh, execution in here in Rizal Park. Mm -hmm. He will be gunned down. Yeah. And then after that he uh, he was convicted in Intramuros. That's around mm -hmm. ten kilometers from here. I was there too. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. He was jailed there for mm -hmm. the rest of the time. How long was he jailed before uh, he was executed? That was ar around two days. Something. Two days, okay. Because this so is the quick. last day. Last. This is the remaining days. Mm -hmm. it, it's about hours already. So okay. he will be executed at exactly December 30, which right. is will be I will be discussing in last class. Okay. So it's everything clear. Everything. Sure. Yeah. So we have the cluster two. That's the cluster one. Okay. Cluster two is the last. Uh, his beloved family. Right. So here is the first, of course, Doctor Serizal, mm -hmm. his mother, Rialonda. Alonso, his two sisters. So here they were. Uh, uh, her fam, his family went to Intramuros jail to visit him. Mm -hmm. While at them, uh, while while visiting them, uh, Doctor Jose Rizal went to her mother. Mm -hmm. And you you know usually Asian beg, you know we usually bow. Mm -hmm. So we kiss our mother is to show our respect to them. Mm -hmm. That's how we were trained as uh, Filipino. So what that's what he did to her mother. Mm -hmm. So when her mother went there. He kissed his hand, and uh, they were all crying. They were very emotional. I can imagine. Him. So her sister and her, her both sister were also crying at the back. So right. they were hugging because this will be the last time they will see Doctor Serizal. Apparently, that's been a crazy yeah. scene. If, and that time, the the uh, Spanish guard are very strict because of Doctor Serizal. I can imagine, right? Because he was their enemy, no matter what. There is nothing like he could have said nothing, or done. Nothing. Even the idea. Filipinos, us. The back then we can we, we cannot do anything to help him. Mm -hmm. Only his book that uh, uh, that uh, he uh, he introduced to us and uh, it it gave us motivation to mm -hmm. fight for the Spanish. The book he wrote, which is I'll discuss. Is it mm -hmm. everything clear here? Yes, sure. sure. Next is the mm -hmm. cluster three. Yeah. So at the exact midnight, he has a free time. Mm -hmm. He has free time. So in here in his free time, he wrote the book, the Mi Ultimi Adios or the Last Farewell. Is it hot? Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's, you're you're still you know tan. Right. I like us. We're sunburned. Look, it's black and white. Oh my god. So there's the difference. And uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, last farewell or me me ultimate adios, which is uh, uh, which is before we enter here, it is written in the black granite outside. I saw that. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah I that's a picture it. of it. Yeah, that's what he wrote. Uh huh. And then after that, he wrote the me ultimate adios or the last farewell. He wrote there to his uh, best friend family and uh, father mother everyone mm -hmm. even the Filipinos he wrote there what with uh, not, not to be to give up on our country mm -hmm. so at the same time when he wrote that the the guards are also again very strict because they think if Dr. Sarisa will leave them alone or will Dr. Sarisa will just be sitting here uh, they thought that He's going to take suicide, which is oh. not that's not the plan. That the plan okay. is he will be executed. Right. So they were very strict at the, at that time. Mm -hmm. And then after that, when he finished the the mi ulti mi adios oh, or the last very well. It's nice that he was able to to write it all. That yeah. he was given yeah. access to at the jail. Things. Yeah. He 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 
Uh, the guard gave him sa the alcohol burner. Okay. The ink usually we don't have ballpen back then, right? Right, right, sure. Same as you're in country. So after mm -hmm. that, after he finished that, you know, one scratch, her sister, uh, visitor, another sister, not both of them, another oh, okay. Trinidad. Mm -hmm. She has many sisters. Yeah, she she is from uh, tenth tenth in the family. He has many. Sisters. Yeah, he. So oh, everything is more on the girls. Mm -hmm. uh, and after that, uh, when her sister went. Uh, visitor, mm -hmm. he put the letter, the me, uh, the last farewell, as cash paper, which uh, me ultimate adios. He put it in an alcohol burner, and mm -hmm. when her sister arrived, he gave it to her sister. Oh, okay. That was that, that's why it was published. Right, because I was wondering how was he able to get yeah, it out in the first her place. Her sister, and then uh, okay. one of his colleague, which is Andres Bonifacio, of course one of our national hero also. Right. Uh, translate it into Tagalog so that the Filipino would understand. What language did he write it in? Ah, English. In English? Yeah, oh, English. Because okay. he knows 22 languages. Wow. 17 foreign and uh, the 5 is local. That yeah. is brilliant. He, that's why we, he, he became our national hero. Yeah, wow. He is smart and yeah, rumors say he is also a womanizer because he went to Europe and mm -hmm. he, he met many girls. Mm. Spain, you know, Japan. Mm -hmm. He also knows Japanese. And he was a good-looking Filipino dude. <laughs> Actually, some uh, rumors says back then, and uh, I wrote in a book, he was just an average. Oh yeah. Uh, Every image I've seen of him, he yeah. seems like a good-looking guy. Yeah, but uh, one book, I think it's Abed Ocampo. He was like discussing about looks of Rizal. He was uh, below average. Oh. But he is a very smart one. Well, maybe that's, that's what works. Yeah, because women back then are, you know. Uh, are attracted to intelligent rather than sure. good looking. Right, right. And back then, if you have many books in here in the Philippines, if you read a lot of books, you, con you, you are considered uh, one of the rich people mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after that, we I also discussed that uh, outside the Black Granite. Mm -hmm. So here, and uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, any question about that? It's a very interesting desk that he has. It looks like it's two or three desks on top of each other. Yeah, that's the classic style back then. It, it was okay. not there, there are no innovation back then. It's just the usual. What the Spaniard uh, contributed is the furniture design. Mm -hmm. Also, okay. that's a good thing. But the, there were there were uh, there were very you know uh, aggressive towards the Philippines. Of course, right? Yeah, we, we were slave back then so much. So shall we? Sure. It, it, is it clear? Yeah. So was he also drinking Gatorade at the time? No, no, that's not. It's the trash, it's the trash. Right. I just throw it. Right, right. Here, uh, here is the beloved wife. Oh, okay. Uh, at first, he, he was not granted, but uh, he, the, they were not granted to meet because uh, it's uh, strict right. in the jail. But then again, uh, Dr. Osiris has a, a, a priest friend, mm -hmm. which is uh, very close to him. So. The, that priest granted them to meet it, it, each other in the. Yeah. That's nice. So while while at them, uh, while while they're talking, uh, Doctor Sarisal, uh, before before they talk, Doctor Sarisal gave. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, uh, small Bible, implication of Christ? Implication of Christ. Uh, I, uh, yeah, imitation of Christ. Imitation sorry. of Christ. Yeah, it's a small Bible, uh, where it 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 uh, it, uh, it wrote about uh, how. Jesus, uh, the Christ Roman Catholic. Right, I'm familiar with yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, but because he's a very uh, Roman Catholic. Right. Her family, his family. Mm -hmm. So he gave a book, a small book. Okay. Which is written by Thompson. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name, but the family name is Thompson. Mm -hmm. And after that, he asked his wife, uh, "If I'm going to die, what would you do?" Mm -hmm. So her wife answered back, "I will be, uh, I will be." Uh, teaching an English language as a job. Hmm, okay. So, Dr. Sarisal, if it's okay, you just stay at house. Because jo Dr. Sarisal was a jealous guy. <laughs> he loved his, her wife so much. How and, long were they married? Uh, they were married, uh, if I'm, uh, two years. Oh, just a few years? Yeah, just oh, okay. a few years. But uh, I may be wrong, but hmm. I just got it. Okay. And after that, uh, after that, after they talk, uh, uh, their wife gave him a rosary. Are you familiar with rosary? Sure, yes. Yeah. And after that, uh, by the way, uh, Josephine Bracken, her wife, mm -hmm. I forgot to include it, was an Irish. Oh, he's she's not, Irish? Oh. He's not a uh, Filipino. Oh. oh, okay. So, yeah, there you go. Any uh, It seems no. clear. Did, did they have any kids together? There's uh, one thing. Uh, they have kids, but uh, uh, they have kids. One. One, okay. But it was 
uh, already dead by oh. a long three hours. It oh, just damn. lasts long. It, it lasted for three hours only. Three, oh wow! Yeah, That's sad. but it, it was not written in the book, I guess, oh. because my manager told me he, he is a real Rizalista. Rizalista? Yeah, uh, a fan of Jose Rizal. Okay. Our national hero. He knows about the history, even uh -huh. the diary, everything. So he just shared it to us. Oh, okay. When we have our orientation. So, so this is not like popular information? Not common information? Not because of, you know, politics. Oh, okay. Back then. Interesting. All right. Yeah. All right. What? Your, do you have religion? Well, I am. Uh, I don't follow religion personally. Uh, My wife is a Catholic. She's a Filipina, actually. That's right. So here he's a uh, beloved friends. Mm. That's the priest a while ago who was given the oh, permission. Okay. That's uh, uh, Father Balaguer. Okay. He's the lute this the one the first cluster, Lieutenant De Andrade. Mm, okay. He's a uh, military protector. Oh okay. okay. So here uh, this uh, Doctor Sarisa. So here what was also a very emotional emotional thing. Of course. Because uh, uh, this is the day na uh, the, this is the the day. Uh, uh, he will be executed. So before that, he gave uh, Doc, uh, General De Andrade a uh, tie pin or a uh, pin mm. to honor their friendship mm. before they go to march. So after that, uh, Father Balaguer was just crying because he cannot believe what will happen to Doctor Hasarisa yeah. before uh, or be, before he will be executed. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, Doctor Hasarisa, said to Father Balaguer, "It's better to stay in Intramuros mm -hmm. or Port Santiago back then." Okay. Uh, rather than come as come with us at Bagumbayan or the Rizal part, mm -hmm. so that's it uh, for this. Okay, seems clear. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So the cluster six will be there. Right. Okay. So you came here just scooter? Did you just use the scooter? To right, but it was very close actually. I am. Oh. I normally take much longer rides. Really. Um, I went from Makati to Kubao and then back yesterday. You just used your scooter? Yeah. Wow. Yesterday, in one day, I rode 27 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> That's the maximum yeah. battery range, actually. Ah, uh, it's an electric scooter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to push that whole way. No. I thought, I thought <laughs> no, no, it was no, a no. manual thing. No, it's electric. Oh, it, has, it has a maximum range of exactly how much I rode yesterday, 27 kilometers. By the oh. time I came home, it was dead, oh. right at my building. Okay. <laughs> How many hours of charging for that? Uh, four to five. Four to five? Basically, like four hours you get to 90%, oh. and then another hour is 100%. Oh. So you don't have power bank, something like Tesla did? No, no. It's uh, basically just you plug it into a wall outlet. So you, sh you, you use it every day? Not every day, but as often as I could, oh. actually. <laughs> it's, really, it's very enjoyable to ride it. So here, the next is the death, the, the, the death march. Mm -hmm. So here. Uh, from Intramuros there, mm -hmm. coming from here, uh, exactly 963 steps from here. Okay. Dr. Hasarisal steps. He he entered a uh, well. There's a footprint there, but it's already covered by the dust because wow. it was a long time ago. That's so they, he, oh yeah, here uh, while marching, mm -hmm. uh, while marching, uh, he can hear the parade. So the drum has been is sounding. Mm -hmm. So to get the attention of the people that. Dr. Sarisa will be executed, especially the Filipinos. I can't even imagine. Yeah. And after that, uh, well, uh, Dr. Sarisa was very relaxed at that time and uh -huh. uh, looking for the crowd, uh, looking for a friend, someone that they uh, are colleagues. But mm. uh, uh, sad to say, he, he wasn't able to find someone mm. because of, uh, of the fact that uh, all hope all of her colleagues and friends are it's it's either hiding mm. or already been in jail because of the right. spanish yeah because basically it, it was probably dangerous to be associated with him yeah. right if, if you're close to him you're mm, in trouble exactly. probably yeah and Horrible. that's the mindset of the spanish government back I, then. yeah I so so what he did is uh he just uh, uh looked down mm. and uh, and walk faster so that he can uh, catch up with the parade Okay. So, and as you can see here, this is a Filipino. Right. And this is a priest, a Spanish priest. He's Spanish, okay. So, as you can see, there's no shoes or slippers, anything. Right. It shows that, it symbolizes that... Humble. No, no. Filipino back then was a uh, slave by the... Slave, all right. Spanish, Spaniards. They had no... So, we cannot really. do anything back then. So, only Dr. Rosario because he was critiqued as a, what do you call this, a... 
traitor for the Spanish and the Filipinos. Mm -hmm. That's what the case given to the who hit him, a traitor. Mm -hmm. So the next, hey, anything question? No. Still okay? Yeah, yeah. So if you're going home, you're just going to use your scooter. Um, actually, I'm going to meet up with my wife. I would normally, but I'm going to meet up with my wife, who's close by, like I said. She's close to the SM Mall. Ah, and then we're going to take a taxi from there. Ah, but that's her choice. Me, I would go by scooter. Oh, I see. So here, the, norm the normal pulse. Usually, people, when you get ex people get executed, they get nervous. I can imagine. Yeah. So here, uh, he, the, this doc the doctor of uh, military doctor mm -hmm. was checking his pulse. And he, uh, the doctor was shocked because it was normal. Usually, when you get executed, the mm, pulse. I can imagine. And the heartbeat, the right, you right. become nervous. Sure, yeah. So after that, uh, Doctor Sarisal said that why should be I scared if I didn't do anything wrong to the Filipinos and at the same time to the government of the Spanish. Mm -hmm. So there, at, at the same time, uh, they were just you know he was just smiling, chilling, and okay. calm at the same time. So. Any question? Well, the man had great wisdom. I yeah. guess. Yeah. He's very intelligent. That's why he's... But what would happen... I still don't understand the point of checking the pulse. Like, if the pulse was high, the pulse was medium, the pulse was low, like, what difference because, does it really uh, make? Because I think that uh, if the pulse was high, okay, it's, uh, uh, it, it will be shows that he is nervous. At the same time, right. he is showing that he is guilty. Oh. Yeah, that shows that he is guilty. But oh. But still didn't make any difference. Yeah, but uh, he's going to get killed. Right. So but no matter what, he's going to no get killed. Yeah. So I'm saying, what is the point of doing that in the first place? I read the Spanish. I'll, I'll get back on to you on that. I'm actually curious. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll ask my you're saying boss. that you're saying before every execution, this is what happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Only for him. Oh, oh, okay, because okay. Because back then, they, they were the, the focus was on him. Oh, okay. I, I thought you meant like no, every time no. anybody gets executed, they no. always check the pulse first. He, no, no. Okay. Only for him. Oh, I see. Okay. For his last execution day. Mm. But uh, so he was just curious. Yeah. No, no. Just out of curiosity, like what is the purpose of this for him even? Like no, the, uh, they just wanted uh, to know out of curiosity. Just to clarify, I did uh, usually because nowadays when you get executed, you're you're very nervous, right? Right. Even what whatever, whatever. Uh, application or in the, uh, whatever system or it doesn't matter what system yeah. if it's hanging if it's injection if it's electrocution yeah, back then, yeah you're gonna have the same reaction yeah like. back then yeah he was very calm supposedly he will be nervous right sure but, I, uh, yeah, but the point there was that uh, yeah uh, if if the pulse was high it means that he is guilty mm -hmm. he he did do three uh, three uh, what do you call uh, he was very a traitor to our country or mm -hmm. the Filipinos right but but uh, it shows back then uh, it shows that uh, he is calm he is not afraid to die mm -hmm. he is willing to die for our country so it shows he's not guilty only the Spaniards are creating stories that he is a traitor mm. right right so, so this is more proof I guess yeah that he's... that's what of the oh, that's to emphasize that he is not oh okay, okay. Uh, uh, he's not guilty yeah. he's, he was innocent the thing is, if, if I was accused of something I didn't do, like for example, if you accused me of something crazy yeah. that I wasn't even here, yeah. you know, and I was about to get executed, I'll be very nervous no matter what, even if I'm innocent. That's the point there, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for helping me. Sure. Out. So, here at exactly uh, December 30, he was positioned here. He was positioned here. He, he, wow. he, he, he is. The, this piece was his exactly execution. Mm. Exact. It's just the. Ma mannequin is different. Oh sure, right. So before he was executed, there, he has two wishes. First wish is uh, if it's okay for the uh, lieutenant here, a Spaniard lieutenant, to face them while he mm. will be executed. But right. he was not granted. Oh, he wanted to look this way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because uh, he was not granted because of the fact that he was a traitor to our con to our country and mm -hmm. to the Spanish Spanish government. So the second one is. If it's okay, uh, not to shoot him at the head, at the back, at the head, but instead he he, he used his chest as a uh, to shoot him in, at the chest. Mm -hmm. So it was granted. So after that, when he was shot, uh, exactly three bullets in the mannequin, but mm -hmm. it was eight eight shots. They fired eight shots, but yeah. three shots yeah. hit him. Three shots hit him. Okay. Three bullets at the back. Okay. So after that, when he was, uh, of course, when in this position, he has a little bit of energy, 
So he turned around to see who was who who oh. who, who shot him. Mm-hmm. And uh he 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 I think after after uh, after he turned around he saw that the first lane as you can see is a Filipinos. Mm-hmm, right. So the second lane under Spaniard. Mm-hmm. And after that because uh, uh you know why? The first lane was a Filipino, the second is Spaniards, the Spanish. Because uh, of the fact that the, these Filipinos if they're not going to shoot Dr. Sarisa, they will be killed. Ah. So they were under even yeah. You can imagine how hard 400 for oh, for 330 years we've been under for them and then everything they control financially economically even the agriculture of course right okay, the foods and the clothing as you can see they're the same clothes the spaniards and the filipinos and then after that he was down already mm-hmm. this lieutenant here a, a spanish lieutenant came here shoot him at the heart just mm. to be sure and uh after that he was declared uh, dead at 703 a.m. in the morning, December 13, 1986. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, as you can see, there's a dog there. It's, right. a, it's a military dog. I forgot his name. What rank? Uh, oh, I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> I, know, I, I got your joke. I got your joke. And after that, uh, the dog went here and just circled him around uh-huh. for uh, two rounds. And Dr. Salisal said, after two years, the Spanish government will be uh, go down. Okay. Jose Rizal said that? Uh, yeah, he, he said that before he was executed back in one of his books. Oh. He will, after two years, before his execution, the gover- the Spanish government will go, will go, will crack down or will, will be destroyed or will be, evade, uh, will be kicked out in our, on our country. So after two years, the Spanish government, uh, the Spanish government sell the Philippines to the Americans. Right. Around 200, uh, 20 million pesos. Mm-hmm. Uh, 20 million dollars, sorry. Right. So after that, uh, it's already been settled. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how much uh, U.S. bought Alaska from Russia for. Yeah. I think it was also 20 million. Yeah, 20 uh, million. Right. Because back then, money is very, you know. Different value. Sure. Yeah, unlike now. It's <laughs> Plus, Russia didn't know of all the resources in Alaska. Yeah, exactly. So after that, uh, are you familiar with Paco Park? No. There's another park here, but it's under renovation. Uh, it's also under uh, the uh, of this agency, Luneta Park. Okay. He was buried there. Oh, okay. Luneta Park. It's around five kilometers, three blocks mm-hmm. from here. But it's not accessible right now at all. No, it's okay. under renovation. Oh. So before, I'll be here for a while, so yeah, I'm gonna sure. visit. <laughs> sure, sure. Eventually. No, 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 I mean like uh, I'm gonna live in here in here for a long oh, time, yeah, so I'm yeah. gonna visit when they finish yeah. the renovation. And, uh, but, but I just to uh, just to end it before mm-hmm. he was lying down. He was lying down. Uh, that that's the Paco Park, right? Mm-hmm. He was just carried by the feet. Just like, dragged, dragged around, and then when when they reached the Paco Park, he just you know he put they it, just tossed him in there, tossed it, and then buried him. And after two years, <coughs> excuse me, her her uh, his bones has transferred here in the Rizal Monument. Oh, okay. That's why some uh, someone guarding him because oh, okay. of his bones. Oh, I see. Yeah, so things. You know, is there any question you need to ask? Mm, no, I think that's about it. That was a very, very good yeah, tour. Thank, thank you. you. I'm just an intern here. Oh, okay. It's our part of the job to have free tour to, uh-huh. to the. Plan. I appreciate that. That was definitely a very good and informative tour. But I like your accent, though, even you're from Europe. You, you grew up in America. Well, like I, I lived there for 29 years. Ah, that's why. Yeah. No wonder. Right. So I grew up there since I was nine years old. Ah, I see. That's very young. Yeah, I came there as a kid with my family. Most of my family lives in the U.S. Everybody that but, I know but, lives uh, there. But you visit them from time to time, or you not just yet. Skype Well, I you just know? came here. <laughs> oh, I really? Oh, two two weeks ago. You, yeah. you just knew here. Yeah, really? I didn't I'm just brand that. new here. So, I came here on uh, February 24th, and then finally just got an apartment of our own.